What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and guys, I got a great video for you today. I'm sorry I posted earlier, made some errors on it, got home for work, need to repost it, redo it. And guys, please, if you're watching this video, drop 10k in the comments, like the video, and all that good stuff for a chance at winning some stubs. Just drop 10k in the comments, like the video, please subscribe if you're new. Guys, I'm posting MLB every day, I'm on the grind, streaming a lot too. But no stream today. And guys, if you're watching this video as well, uh, the next video I'm about to post is extremely helpful. It's going to be posted tomorrow. It's unbelievably helpful. It's a stub making method video. Stay tuned for that. And guys, I got a great video for you today. It's XP reward level 50. The rewards. And guys, you guys, I need to show you the best cards to take right now. I'm going to go over all these cards. Believe me, these are the best cards to get, okay? I'm going to start off with Mr. Jackie Robinson. Okay, this card, in my opinion, is atrocious, and I'm going to tell you why. So, the stats for Jackie Robinson. First of all, his fielding's bronze. Second of all, the new gold conquest Jackie Robinson is better than this card. And his, I'll tell you why. The hitting stats are very similar, and not only the hitting stats are similar, his fielding's better, and his speed is better. And I, like I said, a contact hitter with no speed is not good. His speed is 78. It's not good enough, guys. I'm, I mean, it's okay, but you could take so many better players. He's just not good. I used him. He gets out a lot. He just consistently grounds out and flies out. He's not a good card. I'm telling you right now. Okay, let's get on to the next one. Stan. Stan, oh, Stan. Not a good card once again. And his speed, all he has is contact. That's all he has. Okay, his vision's there. Yeah, but who cares? If you have contact with no speed, you're no good in this game. Go pick up Trey Turner 84 for 3K. Way better card. This card is not worth it. Just not good. Cal Ripken, once again, contact's there, vision's there. The power isn't there. The speed isn't there. I guess he's a good fielder. Yes, but contact and speed, not good, guys. Not good. Mr. Ricky Henderson, I just sold this card because this guy cannot hit anything. He hits the ball every time, and it's an out. He does not get on base. The speed and the stealing is crazy. He gets on base, and like he'll get on base once out of 10 times. He'll hit like 100 average for me. He's just not a good card. I do not recommend this card for level 50. The, the good cards are coming soon. Don't worry. They're towards the end. Ted Williams, not a bad card. Would I recommend him taking at 50? I would not. There's definitely better cards. It's an okay card against lefties, powers there, righties, but uh, he's okay. Not terrible. If you want to take him, I wouldn't mind it. In my opinion, the worst card in this is Tony Gwynn, and I'm going to tell you why. First of all, Tony Gwynn isn't slow. For some, like, why is he slow in this? He's not slow in real life. They gave him 120 contact. The contact means nothing. If he's going to hit contact, he's going to get on base. His 58 speed with 22 stealing is not good. It's terrible. Don't pick up this card at level 50. It's terrible. Please. Johnny Damon, another one. Okay. See, he has the contact and the speed. This card is good. Would I recommend it at level 50? I would not. I would not recommend it. There's better. He's decent. If you want to make the stubs, pick him up, sell him, whatever. Not good. Jason Kendall, just not good, man. I mean, actually, he's all right, but I just can't stand looking at hitters. If you have a hitter with contact 100 and no power, he's a waste of space in your lineup. I'm not kidding. If you burst kids online, like I do, I'm 14 and 7 right now. I'm on a four game losing streak after a 10 game win streak. It's been rough, man. I had to sell my team, restart. But this online, you lose because kids hit home runs. Like, I'm sorry, I lost the game. I lost four, five to four, because the kid hit five home runs. Home runs in this game are huge. Doubles in this game are huge. This guy's not hitting no doubles. He's only contact. Not a good card. I guess he's good for catching and fielding, but you go pick up Gold Wilson Ramos and he has power and he'll do the same. He'll do better. He's doing amazing for me. Roy Oswald, never. I'm not even going to go over this card. Never, ever, ever pick a starting pitcher. For 87 overall, just 89 overall, it's just not worth it. Just you have a one out of five chance. Level 50, you get one time, one shot, until you get to silver, which is a long way for me. I'm at 45. It's hard for me to do. I got work, but no, not this card. Definitely not. 
Nolan Ryan, another starting pitcher. Just don't. One out of five shot. Not recommended. <sighs> okay, you know what? This card is actually good. I would recommend it. This catcher is good. The fielding is there. All around good card. I would recommend it. Honestly, very good catcher. Matt Holiday, another one I would recommend. Here comes the good cards, guys. Matt Holiday's hitting is beautiful. His fielding is not that good, but honestly, like, who cares? If the ball's getting hit to you, you're going to catch it unless you get the glitchy lag. And that happens with the best fielders. You just, it doesn't matter. His hitting is there. Great five hitter, I would say. Even at, like, he's good. He's good. I would take him, but I'm, I'm, there's better. There's better. He's okay. Cliff Floyd's another good one that I would recommend. Hitting is there. Hitting, power, contact. Speed's decent. The guy's good. He got decent arm strength, decent fielding, all-around decent player. I will recommend him. Curtis Granderson is another one that makes me gag. And I'm going to tell you why. Against lefties, he's blind. He cannot hit against lefties. If you're versing a lefty, he's getting K'd up. He sucks against lefties. Contact's there against righties. Honestly, I would not recommend this card. The only thing I would recommend him for is pitch hitting against righties. That's it. I would not take him. Lou Gehrig got dissed. This card is atrocious. And I'm going to tell you why. He's just not good. It's just a bunch of average stats. Just a bunch of average stats. How can they give him diamond hitting if he has no hitting stats besides contact over 80 or 75 even? Just not. I would not take him. There's so many better cards. Another one, Kerry Wood. I would not take him, but I would pick him up. He's an arm and a half, but like, you really want to take a closer at level 50? I don't recommend it. Ian Kinsler's okay. No, no, no. He's not okay. He's terrible. Only contact. Hitting stats are horrible. Like, it's just not a good card, really. The vision's there, but like I said, if you only have contact, it just it doesn't help, man. Especially when you have 73 speed. He could bat 8th if you want, but I don't recommend that either. Gary Carter, decent, terrible hitting stats. Like, he's blind at the plate. Clutch, do I care about clutch? I honestly don't think that matters, man. The fielding's there, but why? Like, you can have a hitting catcher as well with a good fielding. Buster Posey's the better option than Carter. Okay, here comes the good cards. Okay, Steve Finley is my favorite one, okay? One of my favorite ones, I would say. Top three, in my top three. So, the power is there and the contact's there. Beautiful. The vision's there. Beautiful. The arm strength is there. Beautiful. The fielding is there. The durability is there. The speed is decent. You can't get better than this card at 50. Top three, easily. He's amazing. Chipper Jones, I use him. This card is amazing. Okay. The power is not good against lefties, but he's a switch hitter. So, what does it matter? So, the speed is not the best. The fielding is not the best, but... He plays amazing, and you have a switch hitting third baseman. I play with him. He does amazing for me. The vision, the contact, the power is there. I recommend this card for hitting. He's amazing. He's awesome. Felix Hernandez, a starting pitcher I would not recommend. Just like waste. It's a waste. Go pick up Trevor Bauer for 2K. Joe Carter's not a bad one. I used him. He kind of plays like trash. He's okay. The stats are okay. In my opinion, a little overrated. I wouldn't recommend him. He's okay. Another card. <sighs> Man, if you're going to give a guy 40 power and 30 power, at least give him 100 contact if you're a diamond. Just no. Just no across the board for me. I'm like Simon from American Idol. Just no. Like, his speed's there, but the con... Like, no. Power is key in this game. I'm telling you right now. If you want to win online games, you need power hitters. Bob Feller, I'm not even going to look because I don't even want to. Robin Yunt, another atrocious card. Don't take him. Okay, this is my one of my favorite ones, and I'm going to tell you why. First of all, first baseman, they don't need good fielding. You literally, I have worse first baseman at fielding, and they still make the plays. Like... This guy will hit home runs for you. Every, like, he hits dingers. I have him. He hits so many home runs. I recommend the card. He's a beast. On to the next one. Mike Schmidt. Very good card, actually. This one's not bad. The power's there. The contact means lefties are there. He's good. I would recommend this card. 
Was he is he my top three? No. My top three right now is Frank Thomas and Finley. The last one. Oh, oh, and my bad. My top three is Chipper Jones, Finley, and Frank Thomas. And let's get into the last three. Tory Hunter isn't a bad one. He's not in my top three. I would say he's pretty decent though. He's good against righties. He's pretty good. He's good all around player. Would I take him at 50? No. My top three, like I said, Finley, Frank, and Chipper. Tom Seaver, just no. Starting pitcher. Evan Longoria. Like, I would recommend the card, but just the way he's playing real life gets me upset, man. I'm just going to be honest. He's actually pretty good, but I'd rather have Chipper Jones. He's a switch hitter. It's the same thing, really. Chipper Jones, a switch hitter, is so big in this game, especially online. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's my, uh, that's what I got for you going over level 50 XP reward, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, man. Putting out the grind for you guys. And guys, be sure, stay tuned for the next video. It's fire. It's going to be a stub making method video. It's going to be amazing. You guys are going to make so many stubs and you're going to find out how. And guys, that's all I got for you today. And peace. Hey, yo,